We know um, that cell membranes are very heterogeneous on nanometer length scales. We know that they vary in composition, they vary in thickness, they vary in fluidity and curvature um, on these very short length scales. Um, but we really have no idea what that means for their function because it's so hard to look at. And so breaking this optical diffraction limit now means that we could probe regions around single proteins instead of averaging over all of these regions and figure out how these local structures actually impact function. Plasmonic materials are remarkable in how they interact with light. So if you shine light on plasmonic materials, they can concentrate that light down to nanometer length scales um, and generate uh, these hotspot regions of very enhanced electromagnetic field intensity. Um, and if you stick a molecule in one of those hotspot regions, um, you see dramatically increased Raman signals. So to the point that you can do um, single molecule surface enhanced Raman spectroscopy. So you boost the signal magnitudes by um, many orders of magnitude in these very uh, localized regions. There's a lot of excitement in the plasmonics world right now of doing chemistry in these hotspot regions. And so um, if you stick a molecule in this region of very enhanced electromagnetic field intensity, um, there's a lot of heat, there's a lot of highly energetic electrons available. Um, what sort of chemical reactions could um, you do in that very unique environment? And so um, people have shown that you can do catalysis with um, sunlight and these nanomaterials uh, but there's really not a lot known about the mechanism. And so what we're doing with um, ultra-fast SIRS techniques, surface enhanced Raman techniques, is trying to understand how do these plasmons interact with molecules, how do they break bonds and make bonds and try and watch these processes in real time in order to, to really learn the mechanism behind this catalysis. You know, we are excited about applying some of these new Raman techniques that we've been developing to new problems. So, um, you know, thinking about um, photocatalysis and solar energy conversion, um, thinking about designing materials or optical cavities to promote um, certain reactions. And then um, with this super resolution Raman technique, I think there are a lot of really exciting applications where this um, can provide information that existing technologies really can't um, in human health, in uh, energy conversion, um, in battery research. And so we're, we're excited about um, collaborating and, and trying a lot of these different areas. PitCon is amazing in terms of the breadth of analytical chemistry research, and I would say um, my group it doesn't define ourselves solely as analytical chemists, and so being able to get um, different perspective on uh, different fields of analytical chemistry is really um, just phenomenal. The scale of the conference always amazes me how many concurrent talks are going on, but it's, it's a really a wonderful place to talk to people. and. Um, meet people in, in um, spectroscopy and electrochemistry and mass spectrometry and a, a whole lot of analytical areas.